Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Shay. Today's video is going to be super exciting. I am unstuffing my box challenge. I made this challenge a couple months ago and it didn't really have a plan of action to stuff it. I thought I was going to be able to fully stuff it with just rollover money from my wallet, but I almost never had that. So I ended up stuffing it primarily with some of my side income paychecks. But I think there's 65 envelopes in here, and so I ended up with $800, or I should have $800 in here. So today I'm going to be unstuffing it with you guys, and then I'll be stuffing it into all of the categories that I've decided to put this money towards. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to fast forward this just because it's probably going to get kind of boring watching me unstuff them. But we'll do a couple together. And I'm just going to use my cash tray to hold it all. And then we'll count it at the end. So if you're interested in making this, I don't know the exact dimensions. And I don't have it written down anywhere. But all you really need is a laminator. You can get one super cheap on Amazon. I have the Amazon Basics one. And then just some craft paper at Michael's. Michael's almost always has some type of coupon that you can use. So I just had some extra craft paper lying around from last year. And the box I got from the dollar store. So it's not an expensive thing to make yourself, honestly. I know a lot of YouTubers, uh, budgeting YouTubers are making them. And I believe Tara Budgets is the one who started it. But as long as you give yourself like a full day to work on them, you can 100% make them yourself. And you can actually make them a lot cheaper than this. You can use like even cheaper paper, but it is a time consuming project, but definitely one that you can do yourself. I think the entire project cost me maybe five bucks because the box was a dollar and then the little labels on them, these little things, I think was a dollar on Amazon. So, setting aside the fact that I already had the paper, I think it cost me like $5 to make. So, if this is something you would want to do in the new year, it is definitely possible to do yourself. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this challenge with me into the new year just because I have some pretty steep challenges that I'm going to do. And I'll share that in my 2022 goals video. So, this might not happen next year, but we'll see. All right, so I'm just going to skip past the rest of this and fast forward it. Um, and then I'll come back at the end and count it with you. Alright you guys, we are down to the last envelope and it's a five. So all of the envelopes are now empty and I think there were 65 of them. So I'm just going to put them back in the box in their empty, fresh, ready to go state. And then we can go ahead and count and make sure that we have the $800 that I should have here. I'm really happy that I ended up putting hundreds and fifties because they were just a really nice surprise when I opened those and remembered that I had them because overall I was just mostly doing tens and fives. So it's nice to see that there were some bigger bills in there. I am gonna use a calculator just so I don't mess up too much, but I just wanna take it all out and like fan it out, you know? This is a lot of bills. All right, now that I've fanned it out and had my fun, let's go ahead and count 
this. So we have 100, 200. I'm just going to put it back in there for the sake of counting. But we have 200, 50, 100. So that's another 100. 20, 40, 60, 80. Plus 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. So that's 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 260. So we're at 640 now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So that is 100 there. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Perfect. So we have the $800 that... I should have, which is awesome. All right, so we have $800, and this is why I love cash stuffing and why I love savings challenges, because I started this challenge three months ago on a whim, and if I had this $800 in my bank, it would most likely be gone. So $800 we have ready to assign to some categories. So I'm going to start out with my cash envelopes because... I am going to be swapping out most of this for prop money. As you guys know, I use prop money for my savings, my bigger savings. So whatever categories are meant to be in the bank will go to the bank and then I'll use prop money instead. I am like 99% sure I'm going to need some singles, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And I do have some new cash envelopes, which I honestly wasn't planning on showing until the new year, but... They came in a little early, I got excited, so I'm showing them now. And if you're interested in these cash envelopes, they are from Simple Shops. Her name is Daniela, I believe. And if that's wrong, I'll just put all her information in the description box, but I absolutely love them. All right, so I'm putting 83 of this money, $83, in real money, and they're gonna go in my cash envelopes. So I am going to be following a cheat sheet that I have off to the side. And let's go ahead and start. So subscriptions is up first and that is getting $10 today. So I should have $430 with 130 of that being prop money. But we're going to go ahead and add a 10. Which I kind of want to swap out this 40 or this 50 for a $50 bill. So that's what I'm gonna do. And there should be $430 here. So 100, 200, 250, 300, 400, 420, 430. Perfect, and I've just been putting the prop money in the back just to not mess anything up here, but we have $430 in subscriptions. And I did add $10 to that because I have my annual subscription for my Alive app, the Whitney Simmons like workout app that I use. That is like 150 I think, is the annual fee. So I've just been bumping that up for that reason. Giving is next. And I believe that I spent some of this. And so I had $46 in here. Like that's how much I should have. 40, 50, 45, 46, yep. And so I just wanted to add $4 to make it 50 but since I don't have any change I'm just gonna put this six dollars down and grab a 10 so that I can have 50 in here so 20 40 50 in giving so we're ending the year with giving on a good even number which we like Next we have clothing and clothing is a little wonky right now because I am returning some stuff that I bought so the numbers are a little off but I'm adding $17 today. I should have 166. So 1, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. 
And we're adding 17, but I don't think I have two ones. So let's see if we have any singles anywhere else that I can borrow. I don't think I do. Let's go to buffer first because I need to put $12 in here and we already have three. So buffer should be at $15. So I'm going to put those ones down, get a 10 and a 5 for buffer just to give me some singles. All right, so jumping back to clothing, I should have 166 um, and I need to add 17. So a 10, I want a nice five. All of these fives are kind of not great. So a five, and I kind of want to keep this old 10, so we're going to swap that. And two ones. Let's find two of the best ones. They're all kind of terrible, but we got the two there. And while I'm at it, I think I'm also going to condense some of these bills for smaller ones. So let's see. 100, 120, 130, 140, 145, 150, 155, 160, 161, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. So I don't want all these singles in here really. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to keep a nice one. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to get a $5 bill. Again, I'm going to try to get one of the nicer ones. And I think I'm going to swap out some of these fives. 5, 10, 15, 20 for a 20. So clothing should still have 166, 1, 20, 40, 50, 65, 6. Yep. I'm not condensing it all the way, but I did want to get rid of some of those ones since I'm going to need them for some of my other envelopes. Next, we have my personal envelope, and that is getting 25. So I should have 150 in here. Um, 20. And let me get two nice fives. Personal envelopes should now have 150, so 100, 120, 140, 145, 150. And I'm not going to swap out the bills because that 50 is really ugly and I don't want it in here. Um, so, yeah, 150 my personal envelope. And then the last envelope in here that we're going to stuff is my self care. That is going to be getting $15. So, let me see if I can pull a nice 10. And a five. And self care should currently have two hundred and thirty five. So one hundred, two hundred, twenty, thirty, and five. So that is going to be it for my cash envelopes. The majority of this money is going towards my savings goals because those are more of a priority. But that's it for my cash envelopes. So from my understanding, I put $83 into my cash. So $800 minus $83 is $717. So that is what we're going to be, that is what we're going to be putting in my savings. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the cash in the binders just to avoid confusion and then I'll do the swaps off camera just to save some time here. So starting off with my smaller savings, I am going to be skipping taxes because that is fully funded. And I took Black Friday out since I no longer need it, but my emergency fund, I'm going to be adding $50. So this 50, so we have one, two, three thousand and fifty dollars in my emergency fund.
Next we have travel and travel is also getting 50. So 20, 40, 50. Again, all of this money is just gonna come right out and go to the bank. And I'm gonna swap it with prop money. But we have 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 520, 40, 50. So $1,550, which is awesome because my goal was $1,500. So we are $50 over the goal, which is nice. Next, we have Future, and Future is getting $380 today. I don't even really know where I got that number. Oh, now I know. I wanted to get my Future category to 500. It only has two, uh, 120 right now. So I'm going to be adding 380 to bring it to 500. So we have 200 here, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So the future should now have 500. So 1, 2, 300, 320, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400? Why is it only 400? Did I do math wrong somewhere? Oh, I think I... I think I only put 200 in here, so I need to add another 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And that should bring me to $500. So hopefully that's right now. Let's see. 1, 2, 300, 320, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. So that is correct. We should have 500 in future. Perfect. So that is it for this binder. And the last one we're going to do is my moving slash car categories. So we're going to skip right to furniture. Furniture is like the one category I was not able to stuff a lot this year. So it's going to be one of my bigger goals next year. But furniture is going to be getting $87 and that is actually going to bring me to a thousand in furniture. So we need 87, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 85, 86, 87. That is going to bring me to a thousand dollars in furniture. Which is a great, great number to start the new year with. So this should be a thousand. So 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 900. That means this should be 1,000. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 97, 98, 99, 1,000. Perfect. So we have $1,000 in furniture, which is insane. And my actual goal is 4,000 for furniture by the time I move next year. And the last category we're going to do is car maintenance. And car maintenance should be getting 150 which sadly is all of these small bills. But again, I'm going to swap it for prop money. But this should be 150 So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. And that is going to go into maintenance or car maintenance. And that is going to bring me to $200 in car maintenance. So that is awesome. And all of this money is coming right back out to go to the bank, at least in these savings categories. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you 
got motivated for some savings challenges next year. In three months doing this box challenge, I was able to stuff $800 and that was $800 that I did not plan to have. So that was really nice and I'm happy I did it. So now a lot of my categories have more money in them than they would have otherwise. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and leave me a comment. It is literally my favorite thing to respond to you guys in the comment section. Um, and I will see you in my next video, which will hopefully be my 2022 financial goals. So I'll see you then. Uh, until next time, have a great one. Bye.